I'm here with Kathy Bookvar. She's from Bucks County, and she's a candidate for Commonwealth Court Judge. Hi, John. Uh, tell us some about your background. I understand you're an attorney. That's correct. I'm an attorney. I live in Bucks County, and the last almost three years, I worked for a national civil rights organization doing voting rights work across the state of Pennsylvania. Um, I, before that, I, I went to University of Pennsylvania undergraduate, and I went to American University Law School. Would you like me to go through my career, or would you like to? Just say, uh, uh, I think that's a, that's pretty good. I mean, you're, you've been recommended by the State Bar Association. You're the that's only correct. candidate on the Democratic side, I, I believe, who's recommended. That's correct. For, for this year, I'm the only one so far, and I'm really, really proud of it. Um, the, the judicial evaluation said that they recommended me for my wide range of work that I've done in areas that the Commonwealth Court hears that I have the temperament, the intelligence, and the, the integrity to serve as a judge in the Commonwealth Court, and I'm really honored for that recommendation. Now, explain a bit what Commonwealth Court is and what it does. Absolutely. So there are three statewide appellate courts, and those are the Commonwealth Court, the Superior Court, and the Supreme Court. The Commonwealth Court is sometimes known as the People's Court, because the areas that it covers are areas that everyday regular people across the state would need to come into contact with. So for example, when workers lose their job and they apply for unemployment compensation, that those cases are heard by the Commonwealth Court. If they get injured on the job, workers' comp cases are heard by the Commonwealth Court. You know all the, the stuff going on with environmental law and gas drilling and Marcellus Shale, all those issues go to the Commonwealth Court. And election disputes and other administrative agency cases those go to the Commonwealth Court too. So a lot of different people come in contact with the Commonwealth Court for a lot of different reasons. Anything relating to government, uh, local, county, state, whatever in Pennsylvania are held, heard by Commonwealth Court? Pretty much that's the case. There are exceptions, yeah, but right. by and large that's true. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's talk a bit about the issue of, of electing women and minorities to these statewide appellate courts. Uh, for some reason in Pennsylvania here, because these are statewide elected races, we really are underrepresented by women and minorities, aren't we? Women are getting better, um, but you know, still we've got ways to go, and certainly people of color are not well represented on our courts. It's absolutely true. Women have done really well um, in statewide judicial races, but the problem with a lot of this is that we don't find a lot of women running or people of color. Um, so I think a lot of the pro so and and women you, you may know actually Pennsylvania is 46th out of 50th in the country for the number of women serving. I think on our legislature both it may be state and federal. Um, so the statewide courts are the one area where women have actually had a lot of success when they run. But the numbers of them running are few compared to men. So, um, and people of color, um, it's, I, I suspect it's a lot of the same issues. I think a lot of it comes from, um, it, it takes a certain personality to put yourself out there and say, I am so good of a candidate that I will put myself out there and run. And a lot of times, women at least, I know, it takes somebody else to suggest it, to plant the seed. So I try to go out of my way to plant the seed in people's heads to encourage people that aren't the typical white male, no offense to white mm. men, to run for office because I agree with you, we need more representation. Yeah, the state legislature especially is very underrepresented, uh, especially by women there. Uh, tell us a bit more about your personal life, your wife, your mother. I am. You live in Bucks County. That's correct. I, uh, my husband, is his name is Jordan Yeager, he's also a lawyer, and I have a 12-year-old daughter, her name is Colette, she's in sixth grade, and she's been, she's been wonderfully proud of me, it's been very exciting to, to see how, how happy she is about this race, and she really wants to be engaged, which has been wonderful. All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you.